you guys, it's Stella, and today we're going to be talking about flying while fat and the three things to do to make your experience a whole lot easier. I am in Baltimore. If you have been here for a little bit over a year, you will recognize the background. I am back home for the holidays. In order to get here, I had to take two airplanes, and I'm here to talk about it. Give this video a thumbs up after you are finished watching it and share it with all of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for notifications when I upload. So there's a lot of anxiety that comes along with flying, especially when you're overweight. For some people, it's a fear of heights. For me, it's, oh my gosh, I, am I gonna be crammed in a seat? And I'm here to just share my experience, which I know a lot of you relate to, and hopefully we can open the discussion again to how you comfortably fly while being a plus size or overweight. When I fly, I have a lot of anxiety, even though I take all the necessary preparations in order to fly. For instance, I like to make sure I'm sitting against a window because that's where I feel most comfortable. I don't want a middle seat because I don't want to like be in anyone else's space. Let me scrunch up against the window, I'll be fine and I won't be in anyone's way. Now, I did read online some time ago that people also prefer the aisle seat because you get more leg room and arm room. That's something I personally haven't tried. I've always just been comfortable in my window seat. I just feel more comfortable over there and I definitely do not want to end up in a middle seat because that's just uncomfortable for everyone in the row. I usually fly Southwest so they do not have assigned seating so I always make sure I sign or I check in as soon as I can. That way I'm one of the first people to board. If you fly other airlines you get to choose where you sit so I would suggest the window seat but some people do prefer the aisle so just do whatever is more comfortable for you. You. So one thing I used to do a lot when I was a lot heavier and I was a lot more self-conscious about flying is I would always make sure to sit in the back of the plane and then one day I realized that was super dumb because no matter where I sit on the plane someone's probably going to end up sitting next to me. Now I will say this if your flight isn't full and you do get a seat toward the back you're more than likely going to have no one want to sit next to you. So if you take public transportation and you know no one wants to sit next to you, it's kind of like the plus side of being plus size because it's like, cool, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to get this whole row. I know I'm going to get the seat next to me empty. So it's like cool in a way if you want to look at the positive. So if you're on a plane and you know it's not a booked flight, sit in the back and you're probably not going to have anyone sit next to you. If you sit in the front and no one sits next to you, it's more likely that someone will just because it's easier to get to. And if your flight is full, do not feel bad about sitting in the front because someone's going to end up sitting next to you anyway and you might as well be first off the plane. Don't be apologetic about who you are, especially in that sense. So that brings me to my second thing. Don't be apologetic. If someone's next to you or if you like, if you, of course if you bump into someone it's courtesy to say excuse me, but being apologetic about who you are and your size especially in public is just going to lower your confidence and self-esteem so I do not suggest you're like sorry for being yourself because that's whack don't do that if someone's sitting next to you smile like you if you were 120 pounds say oh great this seat's open I had someone on my flight here say hey is that seat open sure it was a middle seat she was totally cool with it don't be apologetic you are who you are Ugh, this is my number one pet peeve if someone bumps into you don't think just because you're overweight that it's okay if someone like accidentally touches your sides or something don't be like oh oh I'm sorry like don't apologize for being yourself that's a perfect example. So you're in your seat, you're settled, anxiety's still high, you know the stewardess is gonna come by and be like, oh my gosh, do you have your seatbelt on? Do you have your seatbelt on? So let me tell you guys a little story. There were, I remember the point three years ago where like my seatbelt wouldn't click anymore and I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm obviously not gonna ask her for a seatbelt extender because that's not my life. So I went like two years flying without a seatbelt extender at all and just not wearing a seatbelt, freaking out. And I was like, I'm obviously gonna risk my safety opposed to having a seatbelt extender. So two years ago, I decided that's not cool. What helped me out was actually a very, very kind stewardess on the flight. I was on the flight from Baltimore to San Antonio. It was a non-stop flight. There were six of us on a plane that seats like 140 people so there was no one on this flight. It was awesome. But when I got on the flight I didn't have a seatbelt extender. I sat in the back of the plane again apologetic for being myself for no reason. There were six people on the flight. I could have sat anywhere I wanted. The lady saw me. She saw I didn't have a seatbelt on and then she like very kindly went to go get a seatbelt extender. Like it was dope. I was like all right this isn't so bad. Obviously she cares about my safety more than she cares about me being overweight especially with a non-crowded flight. In saying this you don't have to let it get that awkward. So two years ago what I decided to do as soon as I got home from that flight is I ordered myself a seatbelt extender. It was $13 at the time. I don't know the website but I will put it down in the description box below so you can order one for yourself for whatever airline you'd like to fly. Carry it with you. So in my backpack I always carry it in the front pocket just so it's like really discreet when I take it out and I just click it in and just I go on with my life. It relieves the stress and anxiety from when the stewardess is walking up and down the aisle checking seatbelts because you're like dang because they have every single right to be like you don't have your seatbelt on and that can create a scene. You also know it's not correct. They know it's not right and you know it's not safe. If you have the extender on it relieves that anxiety of like okay when she walks by girl walk by like go ahead like I have my seatbelt on it's cool. It's more comforting for your 
flight experience. Not all the time, but most of the time in any airline, if you ask for an extender, they will give it to you. But like I said, it was $13 total and it relieves that stress. You guys know I've lost a lot of weight this year. So I'm able to see like the last place I extended it because I always extend the one in the seat and then adjust mine. Well, mine's like almost done. I almost don't need it anymore, which is really, really cool, but I do still need it. Uh, but I'm like this far away from it fitting like the normal seatbelt, which I feel is a big milestone, especially for myself. It's also nice to sit next to like kids or like really little people, not little people, but like little smaller people because you don't feel as awkward having to sit next to someone. I've had to sit next to someone big as well just how the plane ended up filling up and it was just so uncomfortable. I don't think it was uncomfortable physically, but it was mentally like awkward. It, you just felt the tension. It was like, all right, like there's no space for either of us. It's weird. So that happens. And I've also heard of planes kicking you off a flight, making you purchase a second flight. To avoid any airport situation, I always make sure I go to the airport looking fly, looking my top notch. Even if you aren't big and you're just happening to be curious and watching this video, if you go to the airport looking nice, you get treated so much better than every other person in the airport. I swear you think I'm making this up try it for yourself go as if you were going to a job interview or somewhere really nice if you don't fly southwest and you have and you're flying an airline that has first class or business class available you're going to be pumped up bumped up to those seats it's usually what happens i swear to you guys as a bigger person i am so self-conscious in an airport already but the fact that i go dressed up and made up my experience is just seamless almost seamless like i don't get any looks from anybody like i don't feel uncomfortable i feel confident and of course when you're confident about yourself it's really hard for someone else to bring you down some airlines do make you to purchase an extra seat i've never had that happen to me but it does happen i usually check in for southwest at the outside sky cap those people are usually really nice especially if you slip them a 10 at the end one time I was flying from San Antonio to Baltimore and they gave me an extra seat and I've never experienced that before like they were just like here like the flight's not full they gave me an extra pass I was like what this what's this but I read it and it was just like oh put on the seat next to you I was like okay so I didn't really understand what it was because the guy didn't tell me he just gave it to me with my boarding pass so I go on the plane and next to me I put it there but then I saw a dad and his little kid and I was like okay well they can sit next to me like the little kid like I said before it's nice to sit next to the little kids and then you have dad like this could work I was like yeah these seats are open I was sitting in like the front of the plane I was like yeah for sure and then the flight attendant yelled at me he was like no you have that pass you have to use it I'm like no it's fine it's fine he's like no you you purchased an extra seat you have to use it I was like oh it was an extra seat pass so I'd never gotten one of those before that was really cool as well one of the things that I still feel really awkward about to this day is getting up to pee while flying so what I usually do is I make sure I pee before I even get on the plane because I am so a little self-conscious about that like Usually, you know, people like skinny people, they just scoot by people, especially at stadiums or on the plane or at a movie theater. No, everyone needs to get up. So I don't like that awkwardness. So I just pee before I get on. Don't worry about it. Hold my pee until I'm there and then pee when I get off the plane because it's just not worth the awkwardness for me. Or what I'll do is if like the middle person has to get up, then I'll be like, ah, oh, I gotta pee too. And I might as well get up while everyone's up because that usually works. And another thing you may not notice, if you get on a plane that's narrower, you may be like, oh, let me scoot to the side and scoot through. Honestly, if you're like bigger, you're gonna be the same width this way or turn. So just walk straight walk with confidence and continue forward and live your life and stop being apologetic about who you are. I hope these tips helped you today and that you learned a little bit something about flying while fat. It makes your experience a little bit easier. I know so many people that have anxiety about flying because of their weight and I'm a jet setter. I love to fly and I don't see any issue figuring these things out for you guys and then sharing my experiences with you to help you out. So when the flight attendant comes around with the snacks, don't be apologetic about getting snacks. Get your snacks, queen. It's okay to eat. You can eat in front of other people. That's a whole nother video, eating in front of other people. But get your snacks, it's fine. Get your drink, it's fine. You paid for those services, use them. Don't ever not use a service because of how you look. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, like this video, and share it. And I will see you guys very, very soon. As always, love, Stella. Toodles.